What's up internet welcome back once again I'm Manish from rebellionrider.com Today in this PL SQL tutorial we will learn about cursors in Oracle database. Database cursors is the most demanded series on my channel. Also similar to triggers which we have already covered in the previous tutorials cursor is an important topic from the job interview as well as from the Oracle certification perspective. So in this tutorial you will get the answers of all the questions on database cursors which will help in getting good marks in your exams as well as ace your job interview. Do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends on your Facebook and Twitter or by any means you find convenient. So without wasting much of your time let's get started. So what is a cursor in Oracle database? Cursor is a pointer to a memory area called context area. This context area is a memory region inside the process global area or PGA assigned to hold the information about the processing of a select state or DML statement such as insert, delete, update or merge. Let's take a deep look at the context area. So what is a context area? As said above the context area is a memory region inside the process global area or PGA which helps Oracle server in processing an SQL statement by holding the important information about that statement. This information includes rows returned by a query, number of rows processed by a query, a pointer to the power Past query in the shared pool. Using cursor you can control the context area as it is a pointer to the same. Types of cursors in Oracle database. There are two types of cursors in Oracle database. Implicit cursor and explicit cursor. Implicit cursor in Oracle database. As the name suggests, these are the cursor which are automatically created by the Oracle server every time an SQL DML statement is executed. User cannot control the behavior of these cursors. Oracle server creates an implicit cursor in the background for any PL SQL block which executes an SQL statement as long as an explicit cursor does not exist for that SQL statement. Explicit cursor in Oracle database. In contrast to to implicit cursors we have explicit cursors. Explicit cursors are user defined cursors which means user has to create these cursors for any statement which returns more than one row of data. Unlike implicit cursor user has full control of explicit cursor. Steps for creating an explicit cursor. To create an explicit cursor you need to follow four steps. These four steps are declare, open, fetch and close. In case of implicit cursors or Oracle server performs all these steps automatically for you. So now let's take a quick look at all these steps one by one. Declare. Declaring a cursor means initializing a cursor into memory. You define explicit cursor in declaration section of your PL SQL block and associate it with the select statement. Syntax of declaring a cursor is pretty simple. Declaration start with the keyword cursor followed by the cursor name which could be anything you want. Then we have another keyword is which is followed by a valid select statement. After the declaration we have to open the cursor. In order to put that cursor to work Work, we have to open it first. When you open a cursor the memory will be allotted to it and it's all set for the next step which is fetching the data from it. Here is how you can open a cursor. To open an already declared cursor you simply have to write a statement which starts with the keyword open followed by the name of the cursor which you want to open or have declared. You generally write this statement into the execution section of your PL SQL block. Next step is fetch. The process of retrieving the data from the cursor is called fetching. Once the cursor is declared and opened then you can retrieve the data from it. Let's see how. You can retrieve the data from the cursor either into a PL SQL variable which we have discussed in PL SQL tutorial 2 or into a PL SQL record which we will see in the future video. The only step which is left in the cycle is close or closing the cursor. Once you are done working with your cursor it's advisable to close it. As soon as the server comes across the closing statement of a cursor it will relinquish all the resources associated with it. In order to close the cursor you simply have to write the keyword close followed by the name of the cursor. That's all you have to do. And here is the basic programming structure of the cursor in Oracle database. I highly suggest you to read the blog on rebellionrider.com on the same topic for detailed knowledge on cursors in database. Link is in the description.
That's it for this tutorial on cursors in Oracle database. Hope you learned something and enjoyed watching. Stay tuned as in the next tutorial we will see how to create cursors in Oracle. Till then take care and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends also. Do subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.